very kind. So can you dress accordingly next time? <laughs>
and that's just amazing. They've got a sweet fired fresh and made with I don't know, some mozzarella, pump cured sopa salsa, a little, a little spice to it, a little red sauce, just a little, a little basil maybe. Mushroom! Oh, shut up. <laughs> Mushroom! Good fresh pick of it, but like if you put chanterelles or, or porcini mushrooms or something like this, that'd be like, yeah, that's a little taste of it. What do you want? Hi, um, I have a music question, not an acting question. Then sing it. <laughs> Take it away. Does that mean that you're not very good at it? Pretty much. Like you do really just basic music? So, yeah. You teach elementary music or you teach elementary music to elementary students? I teach elementary music to elementary students. Ooh. So yes. <laughs> um, I was just wondering if you started um, music in elementary school and what was your first instrument? My first instrument? Uh, I think I played a little violin, I hated it. Once you get past twinkle twinkle, little star, it starts to get really annoying. <laughs> Parents want to kill you. I went, uh, had a, a sort of extended family member who was a drummer, and he sold me his first drum kit. So about 12 years old, I started taking music seriously, I always loved music. I started playing drums about 11, 12 years old. And I played at school, a musical, when I was 12. And I was making records at 15. It's kind of weird. So that was the sort of hero of it. I still have some of the records I was making 15, 16, 17 years old. And I was playing with a guy, I was 17, I was 16, I met a guy called Robin Hitchcock. I said, I want to play in your band. And at 17, I was playing in his band. So I spent about a year playing with him. And then uh, recently, I just started playing with Robin Hitchcock again, which is a nice 35 year break. So we did a uh, hang out east. If you want to have a look, he's uh, got a new album out, it's amazing, it's inside the Robin Hitch show. It's really, really cool. Um, Brandon Benson from the Rack on Sales produced it. Um, amazing record, absolutely incredible record. And we went and did, uh, we did WXPN in Philly, we did World Cafe. So if you go online and look up World Cafe, look up Robin Hitch you're going to be playing drums with Robin. With the four tracks, it's really cool. So look them up, look them down like that, have a look, it's all there for. So it's NPR, so it's there for free. So uh, enjoy that. Uh, we'll be back out, I think, on the East Coast in February. So if you get a chance, I hope we'll see you guys then. Thank you. You look wonderful tonight. And I hate that song. And when I come to have your autograph session, will you be willing to sign my headshot weapon? Your headshot what? I kid. It's what's on my head. No, but they do anyway. 
It's really funny, so you go to an airport and the TSA seems to be the demographic of everybody that watches Supernatural. And they say, hey, Crowley! And he goes, King of Hell! These old people are going like, There's a lot of love out there. I love it. It's, it's a lot of fun. People smile, make some giggle. Thanks. Bye. Bye. What do you want? Uh, when you lived in Ireland, what was your favourite episode of Fabrication? Of which? Fabrication. Father Ted. Father Ted. I didn't watch Father Ted in Ireland. I watched Father Ted in England. Oh. Which is even funnier, but I know all of it. But I know, like, Declan Leone, who directed like, almost every episode, I think he did every episode of Father Ted. Um, I worked with, uh, in like 1986, when I was playing with Light So, uh, Ireland is my favourite place on the planet. My friend used to uh, help you with the band. My friend used to help you with the band in Dublin. Very cool. Yeah. He works on Kenny Dreadful and he's fighting. So. Really? Yeah. <laughs> The Father Ted is literally... I was actually going to wear a Father Ted t-shirt today. I have a few. Some of them go down better than others. I have one with two cows on it. And it one, they're identical cows. And one says small, and then one says far away. And then my favourite uh, my favorite one is the uh, down with this sort of thing. You're going to love our father up there. You're going to down with this sort of thing? Careful now. Love it. There was, a, there was a riot in Thailand, and you know the, the Thai police are insane wearing all these hats and guns and shields. And you could tell the two Irish boys that were having a laugh, but were the only two people left as this bunch of like, one of those stormtroopers moved forward. And both of them were holding signs, one saying, down with this sort of thing, and the other one said, careful now. So the Father Ted references are amazing. If you don't know about Father Ted, you need to watch Father Ted. It's the funniest television series ever made. Very, very true. And my t-shirt that I can't wear, especially in Vancouver, uh, is a picture of Chairman Mao, and it says, the Chinese are a great bunch of lads. I think we'll wear that for you. It's wonderful. It's, it's very funny. I think I showed it to Osric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not so racist. It's, it's a perfectly square piece of dirt. Yes. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant show. Thank you. Go. Um, did Derek, Derek Jensen ever play? Who? Derek Jensen. Who? Um, <laughs> do you and Sam? Who? <laughs> did they ever play any pranks on you? And if so, what was the best? I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> who are they? <laughs> Moose and Squirrel. Oh, Moose and Squirrel. <laughs> did they play any pranks on me? Yeah. If they did, I barely noticed. <laughs> No, not really. They just get, you know why? Because I'd sue. <laughs> they play pranks on me, shit, because, well, he bites like a guppy. <laughs> what? Well, first, my son said your tax. <laughs> cool. Uh, you're his favorite. Mine too. Uh, I just want to know, all the characters you play because you've done so many. And like, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> you are, I want to see more. Okay. Um, which is your favorite so far? My favorite character so far? It's funny, I've been very lucky. The ones that I've liked have tend to resonate with the audience, so I've been very lucky that way. Not a, uh, we'll see. They're all fun for different reasons. We should see what's next. If I do anything at all, you never know. Maybe I'll quit. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Spend my day walking aimlessly around, <laughs> watching Bert and Ernie videos. <laughs> Bert and Ernie. Bert and Bert, that's not my translation. It's her translation. Well, 
How do you act around everybody? Uh, how do I act around everyone, Billy? How do you act around everyone? Billy? Like poorly? Poorly. That's my good. Poorly. Yeah, it's poorly. <laughs> badly, most of the time. Yeah? Why? They're hits. Ask him if I can play his drums. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 